Make sure to use StarCut Kristen when buying Robux. All the links for my catalog items can be found down in my video description. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, you guys, it is a little bit different than what I normally post. So in case you didn't know, I did start a DIY channel, which I will leave linked in the description and pinned in the comments. If you guys have not already subscribed to it, make sure that you do if you guys do like crafty type of stuff. So these are going to be three videos that I have posted individually on my channel. So if you do find any of these to be going super fast, make sure to check those out because they are a little bit slower and easier to follow over there. So before we get into it, like I said, make sure that you guys have checked out that channel. Make sure that you guys have subscribed and we're gonna go ahead you guys and just get started okay so the first DIY that I am going to be showcasing is the unicorn journal now of course you guys can do any of the pets that you want even if you don't want to do adopt me theme but this is super easy to do there is just a couple steps to follow so the first thing we are going to be creating is the little dangly charm that is hanging on the side of it so you of course can't use paper and just make it a little bit stronger by by adding tape on the front and on the back or you guys can use what I am using shrinky dinks I love these things they are so easy to use and we're gonna go ahead and just color in the unicorn Next, we're going to carefully add the hole. So this is gonna be how we connect it to the journal. So just take your hole punch and put it in the middle. Then we're just going to carefully, super carefully, you guys, cut all around the edges of your shrinky dink. So just make sure that you are leaving an edge so that when it bakes up, it will have a little bit of like, especially around where we added the hole punch, you are gonna wanna make sure to leave an edge all around just so that it is very secure when adding our keychain and our rings. Next, bake your shrinky dink in the oven following your shrinky dink instructions. And then you have your super teeny tiny adorable charm. So make sure to seal this. You can use any sealer that you have or a Mod Podge. Just make sure that like your markers or your paint doesn't peel off over time. So I really like the dimensional Mod Podge because it does add a little bit of a bubble. So next what we're moving on to is the image that we are going to be adding to the front of the journal. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the legendary unicorn. Now I feel like it looks a little bit cuter on the white paper for the unicorn just to kind of add that little black edge or the outline because it does look a little more finished. Then what we're gonna do is take our pre cut out cardboard strips Make sure that the middle part of your binder does have gaps in between the front and the back. This will just make sure that you can easily open and close your notebook and then glue it on top of your construction paper or colored paper. Then we're going to make some quick little slits on an angle on the edges so that we can turn all of the sides of the paper over on top of the cardboard so that we have a nice finished edge. Then we're going to add some paper on the inside. So you can go ahead and use the same color that you used on the outside. I'm gonna be using pink just because the green, the pink all matches together with the unicorn. Then taking some matching colored paper, we are gonna be adding this onto the front of the notebook. So I used pink and just kind of made it a little bit shorter so you still can see that green edge. Then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that image I drew of the unicorn onto the front. Next, we're going to be making the actual notepad of paper. So just take your blank paper, of course you can use whatever you have, lined paper, cut it all the same size, but make it a little bit shorter than the inside of your journal and glue the top so that it will look like an actual notebook, notebook pad of paper. 
So I just went ahead and used yellow because as you guys know, yellow is on the unicorn mane as well. And just kind of folded all along the top so that that could actually glue on top of my notepad of paper. Make sure to add your hole punch. That is how we are going to be adding that unicorn charm and glue your notepad on the inside of your notebook. So I'm just gonna go ahead, add a little extra pocket on the other side as well. Then taking my black marker, I'm just gonna kind of make it look like there is a little bit of stitching on the front and also on the inside, just so that it kind of brings it all together a little bit more. Next, we're going to be adding the charm. So grab your keychain or your rings and just kind of add them to the hole on your journal and connect it to the top of your charm. An extra step that you can do is take some color coordinating pom-poms and all you're gonna need to do is glue these onto paper clips. So it's actually just a super easy way to add a little bit of extra on the side of your notebooks. And you can use these even on your binders or on your school supplies. The next DIY that we are gonna be doing is super duper easy paper squishies. Now these are going to be with the theme of the Adopt Me penguins. So I did do the regular one and also the golden and I even squeezed in a cracked egg at the end as well. So all you're gonna need for this, you guys, is paper. So I went ahead and used cardstock just because it was a little bit thicker, but definitely use whatever that you have on hand. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw all of the images that I'm gonna want on my squishies. The next step that you are gonna wanna do is cover your image in tape. So this is going to make it so that your paper is strong so that you can actually add filling and squish it and it's not gonna rip. So I ended up using packing tape just because it is thicker in width, but you guys can use scotch tape or whatever that you have on hand. So just make sure that you completely cover your image. Then go ahead and carefully cut out all of your images. Then I'm gonna go ahead and actually trace out all of these pictures to cut the back side. Now, of course you can go ahead and just fold your paper so that you can cut it out that way, but I really wanted to make sure that my pictures were exactly the right shape. So I am gonna go ahead and cut out the matching back side, and I'm just gonna repeat the same steps, adding the paper and then adding the tape. Okay, so now we're gonna take the front and the back and tape them together. So just make sure that you have every stitch of that edge taped together because you are not gonna wanna have this coming apart. So one thing you are gonna wanna do for this step is make sure that you are leaving a gap big enough that you can add your stuffing. So of course there is so many different things you can use to fill your paper squishies, but I tried to make this have like anything that you guys might have laying around at home. So I am actually going to be using paper towel cut into strips. So what we're gonna do is go find all of the gaps that we left and just kind of take one or two pieces at a time and literally just stuff this full. Then we're gonna go ahead, add some tape and seal those edges. easy penguin paper squishies. And the last to 
tutorial of the video, we are going to be creating Adopt Me egg themed pins. So these are literally not going to need that much supplies, but you will probably need to go to the craft store. So you are going to need some Posca pens, Shrinky Dinks, I always use the Rough and Ready scissors, and of course your Mod Podge. So first thing what we are going to be doing is going ahead and actually drawing all of our eggs or whatever that you want to have for your pins. And I personally love using the Posca paint pens, but of course you guys can use Sharpies or pencil crayons, whatever that you do have. So I'm going to go ahead and draw every single Adopt Me egg. Now we're going to go ahead and cut out all of our eggs. Then we're going to go ahead and seal these after we've baked them. So look at how super teeny tiny they are. So I am using my Mod Podge Z Dimensional. Of course, like you guys have seen earlier in the video, you can use whatever sealer that you have. And if you do use the Dimensional Mod Podge, you can just use a needle if you have any bubbles that you need to pop. And here they are after four hours completely dry. Now we're just going to go ahead and use our glue to glue all on all of the pins. All right, you guys, well, that is everything for today's video. Like I said, this was a little bit of a different video just because I wanted to showcase what I have going on on the DIY channel. So it will not always be Adopt Me, but I thought it would be a little bit of fun just to show you guys what I have been up to. And of course, the link to that channel will be down in today's video description and also in the comments. Give today's video a super big thumbs up and hopefully I'm gonna see you all next time. Bye guys.